This is the um, unofficial lecture on um, BYU high school class, Algebra 51, Lesson 3.2, looking at direct variation. And direct variation is down here. It says whenever the input and output value pairs have the same ratio, they're said to show direct variation. And so it goes into a little bit of detail of that over here. Um, so when you look at ratios, you always do y, the number in y divided by the number in x. Okay, and they give you an example of like measuring people's standing height versus kneeling height. The standing height that put in is the input or x, and kneeling height you do measure, but in this case it'd be like the output if we're trying to set up an equation. So if we want to know if these are directly uh, related or if they have direct variation, we take the y and divide it by the x for each of these and see if it's the same thing. So here we have 4.5 divided by 6 is our first one, and 3 divided by 4 is our second one, okay? 3 divided by 4 is 0.75, and 4.5 divided by 6 is also 0.75. So the, we would say that these, are, these have direct variation. And um, if we were plotting them, as in like standing height would be the x, so I'm going to go over 6 and up 4.5, put it there and then um, the next one would be over three up or over four up three okay and basically if we plotted another point we'd see it somewhere down here and it'd be a straight line and that would show direct variation if it's a straight line okay so they give you an example here here are the X's or the inputs two three four five and the outputs over here so if we set y over x for each of these, we go 4 over 2, and then 6 over 3, and then this one 8 over 4, and this one's 10 over 5. And said, what do you notice? So if we look at the ratios here, they're all 2. 4 over 2 is 2, 6 over 3 is 2, 8 over 4 is equal to 2, 10 over 5 is equal to 2. So they have direct variation. The ratio of y over x is always the same for all these numbers. So y over x always equals 2. And this equation, 2, is called a constant of variation. And it talks about how if we graph these lines, the slope of the line formed is also a constant, 2. Okay, So the slope of the line is going to look like kind of like that, and it's going to be constant. You're going to have points along the line. And the slope line will be 2, meaning you go up 2 for the y and over 1. Okay. Um, in this equation, y over x equals k is the constant of variation. The k is what goes in front of the x in an equation. Okay. As you can see right here, y equals kx. And so to find out what that number is that goes in front of the x, we have to take the y and divide it by the x, and that will give us our constant of variation, where um, k cannot be 0. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any slope. But k could be a negative number. The slope would just be the opposite direction if, it, if k is negative. All right, so here's example 2. If y over x equals 5.6, um, solve for y. Okay. So um, we want to basically get an equation. So y over x equals 5.6. And we want to solve for y. So we want y alone. So we're going to times each side by x and times each side by x. Okay, the x is over here, cancel. And we're left with y equals 5.6 times x, okay? So if you look here at the y equals kx, um, the k is the 5.6. All right. Example number three. So example number three, saying you, you have apples at 49 cents a pound. If you buy one pound, you spend 49 cents. If you buy two pounds, you spend... 
two times 49 cents or 98 cents. And if you buy three pounds, you will spend three times 0.49 or 147. So um, they are showing you that it is direct variation because every time you divide the Y or your total price, like this, 0.98, divided by the amount of pounds you have. Sorry, that's bad. 0 0.98, that's my price, or my Y, divided by the number of pounds, which is two, two pounds. It'll always equal point, 0 0.49, okay? Because it's 0 0.49 cents per pound. So if we're looking at an equation, we'd say Y, or the price, is equal to 0 0.49 times X where x is the pounds, and y is the price. Okay. Let's see here. So basically we did y divided by x to get the k for the constant, or 0 0.49. The last example is talking about um, setting up your own equation and figuring out some math, which is pretty cool. So if you drop a height, or um, if you drop a ball from a certain height, like two feet, and then you measure the output or the bounce. So you just like stand on top of like a stool or something, drop a ball, and you measure how far it drops. That is your x or your input drop in height. It should be directly related to how high up it bounces. Ding. Okay. Which is your Y. Or bounce. And to find out if they're directly related, you measure like, you know, at different heights. So you measure how far does it bounce when I drop it from six feet and five feet and four feet. And then you measure at each of those the outputs. So let's say if you drop it at six feet, it bounces um, three feet. If you drop it at four feet, it bounces two feet. And if you drop it at one foot, it bounces a half a foot. Okay, so these are my X, this is my Y. And then I take the Y and divide it by the X to find the constant. So three over six and two over four and 0 0.5 over 1. You can figure out what you've learned in those is. So this is 1 half or 0 0.5. This is also 1 half or 0 0.5. 0 0.5 over 1 is 0 0.5. So if this is how your math would come out, this is just an example, then you would show that these are directly related. And you could set up an equation y equals 0 0.5 times x, where x is the drop height and y is the bounce height. And um, when you're doing science, like measuring stuff, it may not be exact. You know, you might get like 0.51 if it was like, you know, three feet one inches, something like 0.51 or something like that, ish. Um, they might be slightly different, but if they're really close and you're doing like measuring, then you say that they're, they're likely directly related. When they're giving you math problems, they should be exact uh, in their directly relatedness. If that makes sense, they should be exactly the same when you divide each one of them. But if you're measuring, they might be slightly different because of measurement error and stuff like that. So, hope that makes sense. Good luck.